UAB takes on their first American Conference opponent in this video, the Navy Midshipmen. Playing a triple option team is a unique challenge that tests your discipline and it being a conference game really ups the ante. It's a home game for the UAB Blazers after a 1-2 and two start to the season and a heartbreaking touchdown loss to Arkansas last week. This is going to be a pivotal game that really dictates how the season goes for UAB. But first, we've got to go through our bye week. So we look at what recruiting looks like. We got locked out by Ruben Leonard, one of those quarterbacks we were going after. We've still got Cantrell and Stevens, though, as guys that we're going after, and we're at the top of their boards. Marcus Hale also locking us out, but we've got plenty of running back prospects. We still got to throw out some scholarships. We've got one at Deshaun Swope right now but still trying to get our footing in that regard. At receiver, a couple of guys that aren't super interested in us. It's going to be tough, so we're going to throw a scholarship to John Rousseau, and we're also going to search him on social media just for some extra love. Quincy Abel, no longer interested. We have a lot of needs. Lawrence, one of our key guys right now. We see Jennings. We're pretty high up on that the offensive line, we've definitely got a bit more in terms of prospects available on the defensive side of the ball. Of course, in the secondary is where we're trying to put in some work. McSorley looks like commits to Southern Miss. Lloyd Brisby, though, still that four-star free safety we're trying to keep an eye on. And Dexter Shaw, a really solid three-star free safety. So in terms of our safeties, we're really in a good spot with some of those guys. But overall, recruiting, definitely a little slow to start the season, but hopefully that's something that we'll figure out. We've got to upgrade some coach skills, and one of the keys to winning here will be figuring out how to recruit against all these other big programs in the South. So we'll advance our defensive back recruiting. We are trying to land those important safeties as well, so that will be important. And without further ado, we will advance next week to find out our opponent which is the Navy midshipman. You see Lawrence, the four-star tackle, locking us out. That's kind of a brutal blow, but it is okay. Let's go win on the field, and then none of that will matter. But first, we'll take a peek at that recruiting board again and see what is looking like after that four-star tackle locks us out. We're still high on Stevens and Cantrell. That is a great spot to be in. We have 95 hours available now, so we might as well put in some work. Tell Micah Cantrell to come visit us for that two-lane game, and we'll talk about his proximity to home. He's going to like that. At running back, still a bunch of guys. We'll throw a scholarship Grimes' way. We'll throw a scholarship towards Sowells, just so we're casting a wide net. Running back, very important for this UAB team. We've ran the ball a lot this season, and some of our running backs are getting up there in terms of eligibility. So we'll go ahead and contact the friends and family of Rousseau, trying to get some more offensive skill players. We have to sadly remove Josh Lawrence at guard, not tackle, excuse me. But we still have a few prospects there. We've got the four-star Jaleel Mon. We're definitely going to DM him. We're trying to get him to come. That's the last of our recruiting hours. But we'll still revisit how everything else is looking. We see McSorley down there still committed to Southern Miss. We just forgot to remove him last week. But Brisby and Shaw still, I think, the crown jewels of our class right now. If we can land those guys and along with Cantrell, everything else will figure itself out. But that's kind of how recruiting is looking. Let's get into the game against the Navy midshipmen. So here we go. It's time to kick the ball off to start the game. Our crowd looking a little sparse after this 1-2 and two start. That loss to ULM probably contributing more than anything. So hopefully we can get a win to start conference play here and start to win some of these fans back as Navy returns the kick shy of the 20-yard line. You see Coach Budge, Blake Horvath, the quarterback for Navy. He is their junior leader from Hillard, Ohio. And here we go. We'll start the game. They're running the triple option. It requires a ton of discipline. And they'll start to the fullback. We will certainly see that guy getting the ball quite a few times today. Horvath going to fake this one and get a big gain down near midfield. So the Navy offense already showing how it can threaten you, lull you into a false sense of security in terms of a defense. So now... Here we go, a second down and medium, and handing it off to the fullback sets up a third and four. So expecting the run, UAB looking to go all out here, and it's a play action, and it completely catches the defense off guard. That is going to be a touchdown on a 
53-yard pass from Navy. That was not on a lot of people's bingo cards, but they start off 7-0, and so it's now time for the UAB offense to make their first trip to the field of the game after the quick Navy score. This team hoping to get out to a good start. They started fast versus ULM. They started fast versus Arkansas. And there's Amari Thomas on the quick slant. He could go and he will. Amari Thomas on a 75-yard touchdown to open the game for UAB. A massive response that it feels like the Blazers needed early in this game. So we're tied at seven apiece here early in the first quarter the offenses certainly have showed up and there goes the big fullback for Navy a big gain and Alex Tesca is going to be a monster today there's the pitch from Navy they get a solid gain setting up a second and seven so this UAB defense really going to be tested especially after surrendering a boatload of points to Arkansas last week they're really going to be asked to respond here, but we're tied at seven, and Navy's already on the other side of midfield. This time, the fullback absolutely met at the line, so it sets up a second and long. Horvath once again giving it to the fullback, but this time he's also stuffed, so the defense starting to adjust. It's a third and long. Navy probably in a passing down, and that's what'll happen. Horvath finds his man on the comeback, so the Navy offense continues to find ways to make plays. So, it is a first down and 10 now for Navy, and getting through is Horvath. He could go, and he will go. Touchdown, Navy. UAB's defense off to a disastrous start. So it's already 14-7, Navy. The offense for UAB now looking for another response. They're going to give it to BB. BB getting a solid seven-yard carry. He's the backup to this guy, Isaiah Jacobs, who will get them the first down on a quick little carry. So after a poor return on the kickoff, they're already back. Back near the 25 now thinking about that little screen pass might as well get the ball in the hands of your star Amari Thomas and he gets them a quick three yard gain so now a second down and seven back to throw and it's intercepted a disastrous play from Jacob Zeno and Navy early all of a sudden could put UAB down multiple scores and now breaking multiple tackles, but there is a flag. Maybe there's a reason they got a solid gain there, and it's because of a block in the back. So Navy going to be pushed back. It's a first and 17 now, and Horvath going to take it himself. A tricky play and a nice open field tackle to stop what could have been a touchdown run. So it's now a second and 16 for Navy football. Horvath going to go on the pitch. The pitch man going to get hit. So it's a third and long, but we've seen Navy convert a third and long already. And Horvath, he's not going to get it. He's sacked for a loss, but they're going to go for a long field goal. This from the 40-yard line, and the kicker has got a leg of steel. He drills it to make it a 10-point Navy lead. So now Jacob Zeno in the UAB offense down 10 points early. Zeno under pressure, scrambling out, fires, and it is dropped. So the offense not getting a ton to work after that pick from Zeno. They're definitely feeling it, but there is Shank somehow coming open across the middle. He gets them a big play from the underneath pass. So Zeno getting a little bit more comfortable now. It's a first down and 10. Another play action here. He's looking. He fires. It's Dallas Payne, and it's deflected away. One that they would have liked to have had. We're late in the first quarter. They're going to go screen play once again to Shanks, and Shanks is able to get out in front of it, and he's able to get a first down and then some. So at the end of one, UAB quickly down double digits, and the yarding battle, they aren't even losing that bad. Time of possession, however, they are, and that's something a triple option team can do to you. UAB finds themselves quickly in a hole in this one. They've got to fix that in the second quarter. First play goes to BB. He gets them about four yards, and they're going to go right back to the well. BB going to spin, get a first down, and they're down to the 24. So how about that from the UAB offense? Zeno, play action. Once again, it's that little screen, the jailbreak screen to Amari Thomas, and he gets them down, and it's a first and 10, nearly first and goal from the 12-yard line. A quick out to BB, and he gets them to a second and seven. So inching their way closer, second down, seven to go. Zeno trying to change the play at the line. He drops back. He's looking. Nothing going. Zeno going to scramble, and he stops. So it's a third and short. 
This time, BB gets the handoff again, and he's stopped. So it's a fourth and inches. They're going to go right back to BB. He dives, and he finds his way into the end zone somehow. An extremely risky call, but UAB needed it. Coach Budge sensing that, and they're able to get in. A second and four, and the fullback somehow making his way through, but he fumbles the football, and so UAB quickly forces the turnover, and it feels like this game may have been quickly shifted. Dallas Payne, a quick out to the tight end. He gets them nine, so now UAB on a third and two from the 36. It's Isaiah Jacobs, and that's a first down for the Blazers, so UAB starting to feel it. It's BB again finding some room. He's had a nice workload early, and he's responded very well. This one, a dangerous pass, but Amari Thomas comes down with it. He's been absolutely cooking today. Zeno trying to remedy that early turnover, that early pick he threw, and here it's a third and four. Finding his man, it's Jones, and Jones breaks a tackle into the end zone. So UAB quickly has taken the lead back 21-17 and now our Navy has the football back trying to recover after their lead quickly dissipates and now a long downfield spot it's Lee again his third interception of the year and Lee takes it all the way back to the 36 so UAB with the ball Zeno trying to make something happen but he actually gets sacked here so down to just 17 seconds until the half. Firing, nearly picked, but Jones somehow comes down with it. UAB gets a timeout off. 12 seconds left, trying to get themselves in manageable field goal position. It's there for Amari Thomas, who's over 100 yards, and here goes the field goal to make it a seven-point game. It's up, and they drill it. So a seven-point game for UAB. After they were down 17-7, they score 17 unanswered. And so we head into this third quarter with UAB in a much better spot, especially compared to how things were looking early. There's Isaiah Jacobs. He gets a solid carry and gets them right near that first down marker, rolling over defenders to get them there. Second and inches, and UAB really starting to churn some positive momentum. Maybe they've discovered something here, and it's BB once again, the backup tailback finding some ways to get open and get yards. And there is Dallas Payne, the tight end, on a quick play action. It's a third and four, a pretty critical third down here right near midfield. Fires it outside. It's Isaiah Jacobs, and he's going to be stopped short. So a fourth down and two, although you know what Coach Budge does. He's uber aggressive, and this time they get the first down. Isaiah Jacobs, a critical conversion. And so here we go. Zeno back to throw. Nothing going. He's sacked. It's Navy's second sack of the game. So a third and long after another quick play. This one is dropped, so it's probably going to have to be a punt for UAB, and it is, but not the best punt in the world. The returnman's going to take it past the 20. It would have been better to just boot it out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So Navy has the ball at the 23, down 7 after UAB was forced to punt, and Horbath hit for a loss by the defensive tackle. However, the fullback gets a lot back. It sets up a third and five. So midway through the third quarter, a pretty big third down here. The fake to the fullback. Horvath fakes the pitch, gets the first down. Navy in a great spot. This triple option continues to work its magic. It's supposed to get better as the game goes on, and this could be the case. A third and two on that carry from the pitch guy. Here they come in the strong eye formation, trying to muscle their way forward. It's a pitch, and they get the running back for a loss. Fourth down, and Navy is forced to punt. So trading punts to start this third quarter. Now UAB, it's going to be the return from Hooks, and he gets them to the 31. So UAB with the ball, first and 10, late third quarter. It's going to be BB getting the carry again, and how about BB? He has been running like a menace today, really stepping it up in a game where Isaiah Jacobs maybe needs a break from that heavy uh, workload he gets every game, and BB once again, a first down down so UAB has the ball on the other side of midfield now a quick check down it's going to be Amari Thomas boy has he been great today over a hundred yards receiving he gets another one now the play action but the play action once again bites him it sets up a third and long now and they need a conversion not a lot there although he finds Amari Thomas again first down he has been such a weapon for them in the receiving game. And now a first down and 10. Zeno going to scramble with it. He's hit. 
holds on to the football. It's a second and four. Now, once again, who are they going to call? It's BB, the man that has been all over it today. 14 carries, 81 yards at the end of the third quarter. Look at how the yards discrepancy has started to swing in UAB's favor as they've slowly taken control of this game. So it's a first and goal. And there's Amari Thomas on the outside. He gets them another two yards. Couldn't break away, though. So it's a second and goal for UAB. Now changing the play at the line, looking to maybe give it to BB again, and BB takes it and goes into the end zone. Can you say player of the game? BB putting a compelling case together. So now UAB up 31-17, and Horvath hands it off to the fullback. The defense finally all over. It seems like they've really figured out how to defend this triple option in the second half. Here goes the pitch, though, and it's a great open field tackle. Third down and five in the fourth quarter. Navy fakes the handoff. They're going to pass the ball, throws it wide open, a breakdown in the secondary, and Navy in business now on offense, changing the play at the line. Horvath under center, back to throw again. This one is hit and jarred loose. So Navy trying to get through the air. They've got to throw the ball. They're not used to it. And another comeback route is going to work. But it's a fumble. And UAB gets on it. So a huge fumble. And the Blazers are in business. It's Isaiah Jacobs getting them a first down. Now a second and nine later in the drive. We're down to about two and a half minutes left in this one. Third in the yard. BB will get stopped. So it's fourth and just one yard. They're going to go for it again, and they're going to stop Isaiah Jacobs. So Navy gets a pretty critical stop. They had to use a timeout. They lost the two-minute warning, and there's a pass. Tariq Watson thought he had another pick six loaded up, but he couldn't get there. And so here goes Navy. Horvath spins out of the pocket and just fires this one out of bounds, although it looked like he could have scrambled for that. So it's a third and three with a minute and a half left, and Horvath can't find him. So fourth down. Can Navy convert here? This is essentially the game. Horvath hands it to the fullback, and he gets by. The defense was not expecting the run there at this point in the game. So we're down to about a minute 20 left. Navy trying to hold on to their last grasp, and a beautiful deflection on the outside there. And now a second down for Navy. Once again, they're looking to pass, and Horvath is drilled. The second sack of the day for this defense. So a 14-point game. Navy looking. Horvath fires, finds his man. A conversion and a first down near the red zone. So Navy's passing game has come up with some big-time plays. Who would have guessed it? This triple option heavy team finding success through the air, and they've had to to keep themselves alive here. This one a quick check down. So a minute left in the game. Second and seven. Horvath fires. Gets him down to the goal line. First and goal. Down to just 50 seconds left in the game. It's a second and goal here from the one yard line. Horvath back to throw. Fires to the corner of the end zone. He lobs it up and it's deflected away. Tariq Watson was all over it. So it's a third and goal. Now back to pass. Horvath hit fumbles UAB football and that one will ice this game they kneel the ball a massive home victory for UAB they start out 1-0 and in conference and win 31-17 to the midshipmen already 0-3 in conference this early in the season but for UAB they're unblemished the player of the game Lee BB Jr. The sophomore had 93 rush yards and two touchdowns, came up big in many spots for the Blazers. But that does it for this game. Navy did what they could, started out fast, had some big plays, but at the end of the day, UAB clearly the better team. They rip off 24 unanswered to end the game and get one of the biggest wins of the season, their first FBS win. We look at some of the stats. Jacob Zeno, two touchdowns, a pick, 221 yards. BB, obviously the player of the game. And then Amari Thomas, what a performance from him. He totally was deserving of player of the game as well. But that is a victory against Navy. We advance the week. Michael Moore, the American Defensive Player of the Week from UAB. The next game against a 4-1 and two-lane team, a big battle in the American. But let's look at the conference standings after UAB starts 1-0. and In the American, we've got Charlotte, East Carolina, FAU, all up there. Memphis is undefeated. Tulane, their upcoming opponent, 4-1, and 1-0 and in conference. They're going to be a tough task. And you see Navy, 0-3. Army also 1-2. The Service Academy is struggling. But 
Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will have the next one out against Tulane shortly. Thank you guys for watching.